This video was brought to you in part by the supporters of the AMTV Patreon. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to the Ident Review Extra, the spin-off show that takes a look at one individual Ident each episode and gives it the review it deserves. And this time around, we're embarking on a journey through the ITV network and all the different regional stations that comprised it. And this time, we're heading down to the southwest to take a look at Westwood TV. After ITV launched in 1955, it took some time for various regions of the UK to gain a dedicated franchise holder for the new commercial station. In 1961, the South West would gain their very own ITV franchise, in the form of Westwood Television. Now Westwood today may be remembered for its iconic ship, for which we'll get into, but it actually didn't last all that long on the airwaves, just 20 years in fact. So let's take a look at just how Westwood decided to originally represent itself from 1961 to 1981. I can definitely spot the central running theme. Right from the beginning, Westwood decided to use a ship as the main part of their logo. The first one shows the ship resting on a seabed, before the more stylized image, together with the Westwood name, appear on screen. Considering that the early 60s were quite a simplistic time for television idents, Westwood arguably pushed the boat out, no pun intended, a little bit further than many others. When it came time to update the ident in the mid 60s, the ship was retained, now no longer resting on the water, and a specific model being used. The Golden Hind was the name of the ship, and would go on to symbolise Westwood until its closure nearly two decades later. When the franchise began transmitting in colour in 1971, the ident essentially remained the same, although now the Golden Hind was shot against a blue background, helping to punctuate the new colour system. Some variations of the 71 ident take more time to pan across the beautiful ship model, and I wish more variations could have been made to perhaps showcase different parts of the ship and the intricate detail that's captured within the model. Although the movement is limited, the striking image of the Golden Hind was more than enough to embellish Westwood TV into the hearts and minds of viewers in the Southwest. A shame then that as 1981 closed out, and 1982 being just around the corner, Westwood would not make it to see the new year in. Several franchises lost their licenses or were ordered to rebrand by the Independent Broadcasting Authority, and Westwood would hand over as a result to TSW, or Television Southwest. TSW actually had been running things since August of 1981, but the Westwood name was retained up until the new year. And just like that, after 20 years, the Golden Hind sailed its last voyage. Westwood TV was a franchise that didn't necessarily change much on the surface in its two decades of existence, but managed to carve out its own identity and presence within the ITV network. Whether it was the monochrome days of the ship on the water, or the indomitable presence of the Golden Hind, I think many viewers in the Southwest between 1961 and 1981 would be able to recall the brand with relative ease. But as it's one of the shortest lived of the initial ITV franchise holders, Westwood often can get overlooked in retrospectives. So today, let's raise a glass as the Golden Hind takes one last voyage off into the sunset. And so that brings us to the end of another episode of the Ident Review Extra. If you enjoyed this look back at Westwood, then please leave a like, comment your thoughts below, 
and subscribe to the channel for lots more IDENT related content. I've been Adam Martin from AMTV, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Well, that does bring us to the end of another day here on AMTV. We do hope you enjoyed the program, and a special thank you to our patrons for helping to support the show, and to everyone who's tuned in. Until the next broadcast, we wish you a good night.